Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. I decided this week that I was going to post a video every single day because I've got loads of things on and it's fashion week and I just thought it'd be nice to, you know, give my channel just a load more videos, hopefully give it a little bit of a boost, you know, how can it hurt? So you will already have seen, um, so this hopefully is going to go up on, I don't know, Saturday, I'm not really sure, but um, you'll have already seen loads of videos this week, so I'll link all the videos that I've published this week down below, there was a Primark haul, there was some vlogs that I filmed last week, some really fun ones, um, an H&M beauty haul, and a collab with a beautiful Becca Rose, so yeah, just go and check out all of those. But today is the first of my like busy days with the whole fashion week thing coming up, and first of all this morning I've got some photo shoots or a photo shoot with Jay McLaughlin who is the guy that does all the photos for Olympus and he's just the most incredible photographer. He's shot like supermodels before he's shot for Harper's Bazaar, I think probably even Vogue. Incredible photographer so I've packed my little bag and I've got my first outfit on which I'll show you now and just heading to South Kensington to take some nice photos with Jay. But yeah let me just quickly show you what I'm wearing. Excuse the mess behind me, little Dexter decided that he wanted to sleep in my dressing gown so I didn't have the heart to move it. So I'm wearing a white blouse, this is like a white, oh this is distracting the camera focus, let me just move that. That's better. So I'm wearing a white blouse from Oasis, it's just like a normal, um, not really sure how to describe this material, it's kind of like a cotton canvasy type material, really nice, and then it's got the detail on the sleeves which hold them up which is great because I like to have my sleeves rolled up. This gilet is, I think, my favourite thing of autumn winter so far. It was £29 from Dorothy Perkins. I'll link it below if you wanted to buy it yourself. And it's so soft. I absolutely love this gilet. It's got like a um, kind of like a snakeskin suede effect and beautiful waterfall detail, which I just love. Jeans are another bargain. I think these are about £29 or maybe like £22 even from boohoo.com. And then my shoes are, I think they're a brand called Miss Pap, I believe that's what it's called, um, and yeah, I will link them down below. I think little Dexter is just going to spend the day chilling at home, aren't you, little boy? Yes, you are. Mummy hates saying bye-bye to you. She does. But Mummy's got to go. I love you. Okay, so I have officially been the world's worst vlogger today. I finished my photo shoot with Jay, which went really, really well, but I didn't have time to do any vlogging in between the shots, but I can't wait to put them up on the blog and see them all. And now I'm in John Lewis. I just had a meeting with Vita Liberata, and behind me, you can see Charlotte Tilbury have got a pop-up in John Lewis on Oxford Street because they are launching in John Lewis, which is so, so exciting. And I'm about to get my makeup done by Charlotte Tilbury, so next time you see me, I'll be looking a lot less frazzled, hopefully. makeup done by the lovely Joanna at the Charlotte Tilbury counter. You can see behind me somewhere everybody's getting their makeup done. So in John Lewis on Oxford Street the, um, the makeover counters are going to be here just for a few more days by the time this vlog goes live but the actual Charlotte Tilbury counter is here for another couple of weeks so definitely come to John Lewis Oxford Circus and get your makeup done because as you can see or at least I think this looks really fab. I had the Sophisticut look done. They have like 10 looks and you can basically get one of 10 looks and now I'm off to and now I'm off to Duck and Waffle for the Birchbox dinner and yeah so perfect time to get the makeover. So I've just got to Liverpool Street Station and look who I found! Hi! It's Hannah! And we are just about to head up. Whoa, where is it? There. And we are going to Duck and Waffle for the Birchbox dinner. I was just pulling weird faces just to make myself more interesting. <laughs> oh my god. So we're now just going up to Duck and Waffle for dinner with Birchbox and we're incredibly excited. <laughs>
some waffle and Hannah and I are the first ones here but have a look at this view behind me. It's so amazing. We're on the 40th floor so mega mega high. It's a little bit scary and really beautiful. Look at the room behind me. It's so gorgeous. Look who I found. It's Sabrina. Hi. And we just found the menu so what are we, what are we having? A lot. I'm eating crispy piggy. Bacon wrapped on dates. It's my favourite thing. Have you eaten piggy before? Yeah. It's like there was a knot all over again. The lighting is really bad for photos and videos, so I think like we're standing in the one bright corner. Not the bright corner. This is as bright as it's gonna get, guys. I feel like you're bright. I'm standing literally under a spotlight. Sorry, so I completely forgot to end my vlog yesterday. Just completely fell asleep when I got home, as you do. Um, it was quite a late one at the end of Birchbox. Ended up getting home about midnight, naughty me. So it's the next day and I've just had a first meeting in Oxford Street. I'm now just walking towards Benefit on Carnival Street, see if they can sort out my brows, which are looking pretty horrendous. And then I've got more meetings the rest of the day. So I'll take you along with me. experience of my life. They literally did it in five minutes, which is amazing. And then they put some makeup on my brows afterwards so I don't look too scary. Um, and now at Liberty is about to go to the Boo Boo breakfast with Ellie and Becca whoop, whoop, and Rupert Burr. So yeah, we're just going to go. <laughs> so now we're just going to go to the Boo Boo breakfast and the rest of the day. dog-shaped bags and little toys for our boo-boo, so Dex is going to love this. I'm still with Becca. Hello. And Liv is over there somewhere. Oh, I'm so bad at finding people. I'm like, she's over there somewhere. And we're about to have hot dogs. such a long one with events and meetings and now I'm really happy to be home with my little boy who is just trying to escape from the camera. Are you off to little man? So it's been a really hectic afternoon as I just said and it's been pouring with rain and all my carrier bags decided to split so I had a bit of a nightmare actually physically getting home and none of the buses were on time because everyone was getting the bus they were all full but I'm so relieved to finally be home so I thought before I finish the vlog I will just quickly show you some of the bits which I got from the events today because there's some really nice pieces 
So the last event that I went to was the Rimmel event and they basically launched their new lipstick and it was all about the lipstick revolution which is quite a fun idea. Georgia May Jagger is fronting the campaign and they showed us all the new imagery. And I've got a little goodie bag full of new bits and bobs so let's have a look at what's inside. Okay, so it looks like I've pretty much got the whole colour collection. They said they were going to colour match us. But I'm guessing that's just for the foundation because it looks like I have all of the new lipsticks in here and loads of the lip liners as well, which is amazing. And I also got some nice goodies from the girls at Radley. The lunch that we had today was all kind of dog themed because they have bought out a new doggy bag. Doggy bag? A new handbag that's shaped like a dog, which is absolutely gorgeous. And so to celebrate, we went to Bubble Dog, as you saw earlier. And also in the goodie bag, it's all kind of like doggy themed things. So we have got a daily spritz, which is like a conditioning and moisturising freshness spray for the dog. Dexter definitely needs that. Um, there is a mini shank, like a bone tasty treat. We've got a buffalo, are they called buffaloes? The guards outside Buckingham Palace and it's really soft like sheepskin on the other side so Dexter is going to love that. And finally a cute little collar which hopefully will fit him. None of the collars that I've tried so far actually fit him because he is so tiny. If you can hear some rustling in the background it's him trying to attack a bag of popcorn so he's not doing very well, he hasn't managed to open it yet but it's keeping him entertained. So I think I'm now just going to run myself a nice relaxing bath and wash my hair, do all that kind of stuff and then crack on with some emails before going to bed. So I'm going to end this vlog now and the next time you see me in a vlog will be for London Fashion Week which is obviously going to be really really exciting. So if this one's been a little bit boring then I promise I'll be making up for it and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!